Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Levi. And uh, we're here to show you how to um, fry up a rattlesnake once you skinned and uh, gutted it. So uh, it's just a pretty simple process. Um, we're, once you get it all cleaned up, chop it into some uh, edible sections and uh, make sure you season it well. Fry it up like a fish and tastes like chicken. And he's already taken all the skin off and everything, so you can't see that. Um, but we'll show you on how to fry it and make it taste good. This is what steak meat looks like. It's all gray. After you've taken the skin off and the guts out, now it's just meat and bone. So he's going to fry it and you just eat it kind of like you eat it off a piece of chicken, like a chicken wing you'd get from Buffalo Wild Wings. Rattlesnakes are extremely, extremely bonely because their rib cages have hundreds of, of ribs. So just cut them. If it's a small one like this, best way to fry it up, chew it up, chew on it. The bigger it gets, the more meat you got. Here is uh, our rattlesnake chopped into four um, sections. I uh, put some olive oil in the pan, got it heated up. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, start frying it up and then um, it, it, don't worry about it if it curls up a little bit. Oh, that's kind of natural. And uh, you can kick it out about, about medium. So we're gonna just lightly douse it with some, uh, some garlic, onion, um, some garlic habanero. I really like this because it gives your um, your meat a little bit of a kick. And then just a little bit of normal table salt. And you just, just sprinkle it on there real lightly. Um, doesn't take doesn't take a lot. Rattlesnake meat is a is a delicacy in my opinion. <laughs> Not a lot of people get it. It's it's kind of a hard meat to uh, it's kind of hard meat to get enough of to actually make much of a meal. A bit of an old dub, I would say. Hmm. It's a Wyoming delicacy. <laughs> And there you have it. Watch it, turn it, don't burn it, and enjoy. We'll be back when it's all cooked and ready to eat. So we finished up our uh, rattlesnake slivers here, and uh, you want to make sure the meat is pretty white. Um, you can see it's pretty well done. I uh, gave it a tiny little taste test, and uh, it was successful. So um, you can see by our uh, successful rattlesnake chunks here, um, I, I think it would probably be safe to say this is an S, an L, an I, and a C. So it was a pretty slick operation. Enjoy. I'd like to introduce you to our uh, hunter and the person who shot this rattlesnake, my 11-year-old nephew, Jordan, from Albuquerque. How did you feel when you shot that rattlesnake, or Jordan? Well, I didn't know if it was dead or not, but it sure laid down quick. How do you like your uh, rattlesnake there? It's pretty good. Yeah? Mm hmm You like it a lot? I like it a lot. Nice. Now we want to go out and get a big one. <laughs> Snake. Well, here goes. It's a little tough, but Daniel seasoned it really well. It's kind of like eating a fish with lots of those little bones. Mm -hmm. And you just kind of peel them out. You can see the spine. Better. There it is. You don't want to eat that. That probably won't go down really well. <laughs> Make sure you have some dental floss close by. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Huh? Well, we'll see you again next time on um, Learning It with Levi and Friends. <laughs>